Uh, what is used for uh, it, acute? It's used for acute hypercapnic respiratory failure, which usually results from an inability of the respiratory bump, pump in concert with the lungs to provide sufficient alveolar ventilation to maintain a normal arterial PCO2. Uh, so this is a results of an audit by the British Thoracic Society in uh, 2019, which uh, is uh, gone through 3,500 cases uh, across 158 hospitals in the UK, which has shown that uh, the 67 percent of the patients who uh, have been on NIV was for treatment of COPD, uh, 8 percent was for obesity-related respiratory failure, and 6% is for acute cardiogenic panoidema. Interesting that uh, this, uh, uh, because uh, the guidelines suggest that NIV should not be used for acute cardiogenic panoidema. 3% uh, used for neuromuscular or chest wall disorders, <clears throat> 13 is for other, and 2% there was no data. Does it work? Uh, so, um, in this same audit, the British Society, Thoracic Society have found that 67% of patients who uh, received NIV was received successfully, i.e. it's treated, treated the condition. Uh, in 21%, it has failed. And in 3% of failures, this has resulted in um, intubation and intermittent, mechanical, mechanic, uh, intermittent mandatory ventilation. Um, in terms of outcome for the patients who have uh, received NIV, 20 26% unfortunately uh, went on to die, 56% uh, discharged from hospital off NIV, and 14% required NIV at home following discharge. Uh, just one thing to remember, what is the difference uh, between non-invasive ventilation and CPAP? So as we said, NIV is bi-level, so it provides two pressure levels. When the patient inhales, it provides uh, an inspiratory support, and when the patient exhales, it provides some resistance against expiration to maintain uh, airway and small airway patency, and that improves CO2 clearance. On the other hand, CPAP, which is continuous positive airway pressure, which is a constant pressure uh, across um, inspiration, expiration, and the, the use of that is mainly to improve oxygenation. And in fact, CPAP may worsen CO2 CO2 um, retention in patients who uh, are prone to CO2 retention.